Hello and welcome to ARK, the complete series. In this episode, I want to go out to the uh, the metal base that I've built, because uh, basically I need a lot more metal. We're getting it to the point where I just need tons and tons more metal, uh, especially for, for ammo more than anything. Uh, there's some things I'm doing now where I, I just need lots of bullets, uh, which means I need lots of metal. Uh, so the plan is to expand on that base out there, because I want to take an ankle over there. So I'll also spend a bit of time actually breeding some of the ankylos uh, to get one that's fully imprinted and I'll, I'll take it over there but I'll do like a quick comparison just out of curiosity to see you know how much metal one of those ones like a fully imprinted one can get versus uh, the one that isn't imprinted because I'm, I'm just curious more than anything I mean I'll, I'll still want to like breed them uh, for the sake that um, uh, I don't want to like have to keep going out and uh, taming uh, ankylos if, if I lose one so I still want to have like a pair that I can use to breed, but um, before I get started, actually, there's just some, something I actually wanted to point out. Uh, just a shout out to Iggy there for uh, for mentioning this, and that's that um, that Loswold here. He can actually hold more than one artifact, which is it's a definitely useful uh, little feature that he's got there. Uh, I mean, I've got some here. I mean. It, it, it does actually warn you, right, right early in the game, you used to be able to carry all of these yourself. Uh, but the, the, the introduced like a, like a mechanic into the game where basically you can't carry more than one. So if I put one of those into my inventory, it, it's not letting me drag another one in there. It refuses. I can have a different type of artifact, but I can't have two of the same. Uh, if I go over to, to Hetty there, uh, we'll give you that one. Nope. Won't let me won't let me give that to her either, because what you used to do is to get around one of the early problems uh, where they stop you carrying like multiple artifacts. Uh, you used to put them on your dino uh, for some reason. I don't know why, but they haven't done that with the uh, the otter. So I can put these two on the on the Aussie there, and I can still pick these up, and I can give them to Aussie. And I can pick, I can pick an, another pair up, and I can give them to Aussie. The only problem is like his weight limit. He can only carry so much because each of these weighs um, uh, five. Now you can see I, I can't, I can't transfer them back to me. But it, I mean that's something that's really, really useful if you're going to go and do these cave runs. Is uh, basically you know once you're finished, I would say bring the otter down, uh, get your otter to carry them back again for you. So I'll just take them back. Pop them into here, and there's one other thing I'll, I'll just mention as well. While I was out and about, because I've been looking for a, a like a high level RG while I've been uh, playing off uh, off camera, but um, although the actual events finished for for Easter, I mean I didn't do a Dino wipe. I, I only do that at the start of events. But I found this this RG on the island. It's got beautiful colours, uh, this one. So I thought I'd tame this one up because the idea is to... I think what I'll do is I'll I'll get myself a, so like some high level RGs. Uh, keep my eye out. The highest I've seen so far is like 135. So I'm still going to keep looking. But once I get a pair of um, high level ones, I think I'll take the colours off this one and just pass them on to the, uh, to the offspring. But that's beautiful, beautiful colours this has got. But anyway... May as well get started. So, I've got uh, I've got a breeding pair of Argies in here, and I've I've already been breeding them because I wanted a couple of females. So, because the idea was I I did a bit of a house cleaning, um, so I've got two extra females. Cause I'd, I'm just going to keep these for the uh, for the kibble, but um, I've got a few eggs, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can get myself a, like a fully imprinted uh, angle. I've got some of them I, I kept around in storage for a while. I'm just going to double check if they're the right ones, to be honest. So these are... Yeah, they come from the, the male and the female breeder. So I'm just going to pop a couple of these out. Hatch them out. I'll claim them quickly. I'm going to have to be careful because I, I actually went away from the base once. Uh, when I was breeding up the two extra females, I went away from the base, I came back and I couldn't find the ankylos. There was just no sign of them. 
and I'm thinking, oh, struth, did I, did I leave them enough food? I mean, I was I was absolutely certain I'd, uh, I'd, I'd I got to the point where they were feeding off the trough, um, but I just couldn't see any sign of them. It was just really confusing, and for some reason, they'd actually fallen underneath the world. <laughs> they were actually stuck under the world. That, that was why they, there was just no sign of them. But, uh, I mean, I managed to get them back because I got them to follow me. And uh, that was, yeah, that was a bit of a shock, I must admit. Right, I'll just put you two on the passive. So, it's going to take a while now. I mean, it's going to be taking, what, just under nine minutes before they need care. So, I'm just going to have to keep them fed until they're feeding off the trough. And then what I'll do is, uh, every time they need care, I'll have to give them, I mean, it could be kibble they might ask for, they might ask for a walk. Uh, I think this new kibble system, sometimes it asks for uh, for some types of berries, sometimes it's like cooked meat, cooked fish, uh, that I've seen so far. But I'm just going to try and get myself a fully imprinted one. I mean, I still don't have anything for the exceptional kibble, because I, I want to go out and tame some, some Rexes to be able to do that. But that's a, a bit, bit, a bit further down the line, because I really want to get myself some Thylacolios first. Because uh, I loved being able to use those to tame the rexes, rather than just you know dragging a rex into a into a pen. I think it's great having the, those thylacolios that you can just go running around after T rexes. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm just going to basically see if I can get myself a fully bred um, ankylo that's got full imprinting. Uh, once ready, I'll bring you back. Well, it was it was all going so well to begin with. I mean, I, I initially started off with two of them. Uh, but I've now got four because uh, I wanted to play it safe, so I, I left a bit of a gap um, to give me time, so I didn't have to like you know meet the needs of all four of them at the same time. Uh, so initially, I got um, one of them asked for a cuddle, which was easy. The second one asked for uh, cooked fish meat, so that was that was easy enough as well. Uh, I then bred up the other two, um, or hatched the other two, I should say, and. Um, Unfortunately, it's now round to their these two. Their first round, they've asked for walks, and this one here asked for a walk as well. This one asked for another cuddle. So these three, I'm I'm not overly confident that I'll be able to get them 100% imprinted. Um, the, the the problem is is that because I've got these reduced settings, I've got a very very small time win window to meet that requirement. Otherwise, it's a case of you can pretty much just write it off. If you don't if you don't get all of that care done you know before the baby matures then you can't get a hundred percent imprinting um, so I've got a very very small like time window to be able to achieve that and unfortunately these three it was just taking forever to run around you know getting that imprint off so I'll just have to see how it goes but so far I'm uh, all the money's on this one it's the only one that hasn't given me a problem but yeah, uh, if needs must, I'll end up having to breed, uh, well, hatch out some more. But uh, we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'll bring you back once we've made some more progress. Well, there's one I'm going to have to write off. This one's already asking for exceptional kibble. These two, I don't know if these are the originals, are they? Are you the originals? Yeah, they're the, they're the originals. They've gone gone over to asking for walks, so that's not good. So I don't know if I'm going to pull that off. I mean, we're up to 70% now. Uh, maturation, 67, so like 3% behind. So I'll just have to see. What do you want? Regular kibble. Oh, right, okay. You want regular kibble. Right, so I'm sure I've got some in here. Regular kibble, is that the blue one? Yeah, that's the blue one. I may as well just like keep them all on follow, to be honest. <laughs> Come on, come on, I need to get through. Right, you're going to have some regular kibble. Right, so you're on 55 versus 50. So this one's, this is because of the walking. There's such a gap between uh, how far it's matured versus how much imprinting it's achieved. I mean, I'm, I'm running on a sort of like a set of settings that are kind of generic, if you will, that try to cover all dinos, but I think what I might end up having to do is... Um, reset the server and put in settings that are specific for the Ankylo. Uh That's what I was doing while I was playing on single player. Because, I mean, you're, what, 4% behind getting on 5... Yeah, see, these ones are about 4 or 5% behind. This one's, yeah, 
As I say, this, this one's a write-off, I just don't have exceptional kibble. Uh, you're 7% behind, and that's all, all to do with the walking. Um, the settings, you know, the, the, the server tie, the server settings for, you know, for maturing and imprinting, they're just, I think they're just too generic, they just don't give me enough time. I mean, ideally I wanted to just have, have the server running and then I, I could just basically tame up um, all of the dinos at a reasonable rate, but I think I'm going to have to go back, reset the server with settings that are specific to ankylos, and I think that be, might, might be more realistic. But, we'll press on and we'll see how we do, and fingers crossed one of these two uh, will get them uh, fully imprinted, but we'll see. See you shortly. Well, I'm not overly confident now that we're going to actually be able to squeeze this 100% uh, imprinting in. But, I mean, just to show you the, like, the issues I've been running into, because most of the time I've been getting requests for uh, for walks, and that's been the biggest bugbear for me. But, I mean, just to compare, I mean, this one says in about roughly 1 minute 50, it's going to ask for care, and it's up to about 96.5% uh, maturity. Now, this one's going to wait over 3 three minutes 15 seconds it was um, and it's at the same level of maturity so in other words I've got very I've got I've got a reasonable amount of time for this one to ask me to give it care whereas this one's going to wait longer and the problem is if if this one on the right here asks well if this one on the right here matures before it gets to that that time it counts down and finishes and it asks for care I won't get the full imprinting uh, this one, I mean a minute, it's quite a long time when we're at about 97.5% maturity. So, yeah, I mean this one, I can pretty much write this one off. Uh, we're up to 82.5% and it's only got about 67% imprinting, so there's no way I'm going to be able to keep up. And it's basically because this one was mostly asking for, for walks, uh, times these two did as well, but uh, the $64 million question is, is this thing going to mature? before the actual countdown runs out. Now, I've got a very limited amount of time, so I'm going to, just out of curiosity, and see if I can get as many things as I can think it might ask for, um, before it actually, oh, oh, struth, I did have some exceptional kibble. <laughs> I didn't realise, I, th I honestly, I thought I didn't have any, uh, have any kibble left. Uh, no mind. Uh, yeah, it is what it is. All right, I'll get some of that. They ask for all sorts of things, to be honest. Uh, I'll get some of that, some of that, uh, some of that, some of that, some of that. Uh, we've got some of that, right? Let's see. Are you gonna ask for care in a minute? Oh, it wants a cuddle. Oh, we just ninety-nine point six percent. I just made it. Right, are you? This one, you see, now that one, it's going to mature before the care. So yeah, so that's the problem. So that that was extremely lucky. I mean, you can see it's got 100% imprinting. But uh, yeah, I mean, it might get to the point, I think, to be safe with other ones, I think I'm going to be tempted to Because, I mean, yeah, but ideally what you should do is, especially in my situation where I've got such a small window, have every type of... Um, item on you that the, the, the dinosaur is going to ask for because uh, I've just got such a limited amount of time to be, be able to achieve it and usually it gets written off as I say if, uh, if they decide to ask to go to a walk that's what I find anyway you wouldn't have this problem on an official server because you got it takes so long to mature your, uh, the creatures anyway you just don't have that problem whereas me I'm, I've got the timers turned down so I'm, wow! Well, I'm, I'm breathing a sigh of relief now. That was, that was extremely lucky, extremely lucky. I just managed to get to it in time. <laughs> right. Well, I'm going to clean this place up because I've now got one, one ankle that's fully imprinted. Uh, put everything back, and then we'll head over to the, to the other base there. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here. Uh, once it's fully healed, I mean we're running out of food actually because these lot have scuffed all of the, the berries. I'm going to take this one here, and I'm going to take one of the the females, just so we can have a little bit of a comparison to see, you know, how much of a difference it makes. Because I mean, this thing here, it's going to have much higher base stats, and then when I ride it, it'll have 30% extra damage as well. So I'm I'm really keen to see, you know, you know, how the two stack up, you know, how they compare. 
um, you know, an imprinted uh, ankle over versus a non-imprinted one. So I'll get cleaned up here, get everybody sorted out, and then I'll bring you back. Ah, oh, my arch nemesis is here. Oh, this this is just not on. What what are you doing over here? Have you got nowhere better to be? Seriously, I like I just are you stuck in the tree or something? Kind of like reluctant to like annoy it because it will trash my base. <laughs> At least what what there is of a base. What? Oh, good grief! Yeah, I certainly don't want to like annoy one of these. But I mean, anyway, this is this is what I've got at the moment. Uh, realistically, I'm going to have well, what I want to do, I want to widen this out. I mean, there's nothing annoying out here other than some raptors I think there was something chasing some parasites down there but I want to widen this out and I want to extend it back because the idea is I want to put a gate on sort of like in the middle and I'll keep the angle on one side and I'll keep the, uh, the little manufacturing area on the other. I'll keep the um, the refine and forge I'll probably keep these outside because at some point I'll want to put in a, an industrial forge anyway but I'm going to start off by increasing the width of this place because it's going to. I'm going to need a lot more um, foundations than I've got at the moment. I, I came out just to sort of get a rough idea as to what I'd need to do. Uh, well, I haven't boxed you in there, have I? That'll be a bit awkward if you can't move. Right. So let's see. So we put that up there. Yeah, this is going to take a bit because. Oh, this is going to take quite a lot more of these uh, foundations to extend this out. Uh, put you there, so that's one. Yeah, that gives me a width of four. If I make it about two wide, I mean it's too wide at the moment. So the idea is if I put the gate down on that side there, just behind where these forges are at the minute. Yeah, I'll be able to fit the gate in front, of, uh, just behind them. Just uh, see that'll snap it anyway. So if I have the gate there, I can keep the forges just slightly outside on either either side here. It gives me a clear way through there, and then I'll bring things like the. The smithy inside, the um, the storage inside as well, but it's, uh, I should be able to then keep the ankylo safer. I mean, I can only go so far with these foundations. I'll probably have to bring some ceilings over, uh, put found, uh, get some um, stone pillars. But I'm I'm out of foundations now, so I'm going to have to get a lot more stone. I mean, I want this about four back, so. I think what I might do is I think I might just switch to to pillars and uh, ceilings. So I wondered about what this is one. So if we push it back another, say two. Yeah, I'll, I'll push it back a bit about two because I, I don't use any of the metal down there. I get plenty of metal from the uh, the metal nodes over where that. Big Hulk and Beasties just standing and annoying me. It looks as if it's actually stuck in the floor. What 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 are you doing? <laughs> what on earth are you doing here? Ugh, I don't know. But I'm gonna need a lot more stone. Uh to get all the walls, all the ceilings, the foundations and everything done, so I'll do that uh pause the video and I'll bring you back. Well, I didn't actually need that many pillars. I just needed one either side to be able to give this, uh, you know, these ceilings here some support. But um, I thought I'd just put them in for a bit of sort of like uh, cosmetics, really, make it look a bit more realistic. But uh, I've put some ramps in as well, uh, just so we can get up and down with the RG. Uh, so next, what I need to get done. I mean, I've I've extended it out a bit bit uh, further than I originally said. I think this should give us enough room to, to be able to get in here with an RG and then turn around and be able to then get back out with it when when, when we need to use it. And the idea is to keep the, the forges down on these sides here. And so I think really I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get all the, all the stone gathered, get all the walls 
windows uh, roofing built uh, get that done uh, and then I'll bring you back once we're ready to do some testing with our angelos so see you shortly well, I'm beginning to suspect that foot stuck on that metal node but the trouble is I, I don't know how um, don't know how to move it because if I hit that metal node I don't know if I'm going to hit the actual titanosaur as well there's one thing I've noticed is I, I can't land anywhere near here I mean I finished building this this place but I can't land anywhere near it I mean I can I can land out here So I'm just thinking if I sort of like you know strike one of those nodes with a with a pickaxe and it has some effect on that titanosaur, it's gonna it's gonna probably totally trash this base. But um, I mean I'm just gonna leave it there for now and we'll just see. But I've what I've done is I've I've extended out the pillars a bit. Um, they're not really needed them. I think it was just I think it looks just slightly a bit bit better because originally I just had like the middle the ones down the middle. And um, I mean, they were structurally sound, but I think it looks a bit better like that, more believable, because it was it was kind of like right on the edge. It was hanging off the edge of the pillars, and I didn't particularly like that. And I've I finished it off with like a nice thatch roof, because I I quite like the way the thatch and the stone go together. I mean, the only thing I've got to be concerned about out here is going to be things like raptors and uh, therizinos. Well, at the moment, this thing's annoying. Um, as long as nobody spooks it, at least nothing. It won't do any pro. Uh, don't it won't do any damage. Like, but let's go and have a look at our ankylos. I mean, I was actually going to put the um, put the actual forges on each side, but then I just realised I had three of them, so it wouldn't have balanced quite well. So I've, I've got a bit of a gap down the side. You can always have a nice table out here, and you know, nice view. Yeah, it's a nice view out here. But we'll go and get the the ankylos and we'll see just a, like a comparison of the two. So this one, uh, this is an imprinted, an, an unimprinted one. So I mean, see, it's got no no levels applied to it. So melee is about two nine two. This is a fully imprinted one. So straight up, I mean, we've got um, a lot more melee anyway. Uh, with this one being fully imprinted. That's the only difference between these two. They've come from the same parents. All I've done is just imprinted that one. So you've got 435 weight versus 522. So yeah, I mean we're doing doing a lot better. So let's just try this one. I mean it's not a fair comparison to be honest. You've got to strike, uh, you know, you strike a node and you you can get a lot of different like um, amounts back. Depend. I don't think like you know you can't go to like each node and always get the same amount of of resources from a node, but I, mean, I just want some sort of like rough ballpark figure to see how much we get, just so I can compare the two. Because I mean, this one, as I say, this one's there's no imprinting on this one, so we'll use this as our like our test bed. So, right, it's got about two forty seven from that one. Actually, are you carrying any? Ah, uh, because I've got quite a lot of weight. That's why. Right, let's see what we get out of this one here. So we've got 247 out of that node. So 230 and 247. Right, we'll give you that. Uh, and that. Right, come on. Let's get you back to base. I mean, that looks just crazy, that. <laughs> I mean, it just seems crazy that it's actually stuck on something. I mean, look at the size of it. it, it it's stuck. It's stuck on a little rock. I mean, I chopped the tree down and it didn't make any difference whatsoever. It's just not making any effort to move. So I can, I can only assume it's the... It's that uh, metal stone. Metal stone, metal rock. Come yeah, on. Let's just change the delay. Come on, any pop. So that was two forty seven and two thirty, so that's pretty good anyway. Oh yes, you're you're not paying any attention to whistles, are you? 
Uh, nope, I didn't want to do that. Can, can I just get past here? Right, I'm, I'm not going anywhere near that Titanosaur. <laughs> no way Jose am I going anywhere near that thing. I mean, since Murphy's Law, I'll, I'll hit something and it'll actually be the Titanosaur. Right, so there's a couple of nodes down here we can try. So that was 247 and 230. So I'm curious to see how much of a difference we get. Because, I mean, this is... It's got higher base stats to begin with. But it's also got 30% uh, damage while we're riding it. So... Well, straight up we've got 336. So that's quite a lot. That's almost 100 more. Let's see how much we get out of this one. Yeah, pretty consistent on that one as well. So yeah, so it does make quite a bit of a difference. I mean, to be honest, you you level these things up, and it gets to the point where they're full anyway, so you can only harvest so much anyway. But it would be a lot quicker, that's for certain. I'd rather have a lot more resources coming back a lot more quickly, to be honest. But no, yeah, it's interesting that. I mean, I may as well may as well imprint them. I mean. Doesn't really take that much time to do it. Well, I haven't said that it does actually. <laughs> it took about like an hour to sort of like uh, to tame the thing up, but uh, oh, it's probably worth it in the end. Come on, Arthur. That's what I've called him. I've called him Arthur. Right, jump on this one. Oh, I can't jump on you, can I? Can you get in? Probably not. Oh, you can. I just got pretty good here to get in inside. Right, you you stay put. Right, let's see how much um, how much metal we've got between the two of them. Well, that's not bad, right? So four seventy-seven versus. I mean, that's quite a quite a difference. That. I mean, as I say, it's not like an accurate test because I mean, you get different amounts for each one anyway. You know, each node you hit, you'll get a different amount back, but yeah, it does does show quite a difference, like. Right, so we'll get all that lot cooked up. Right, so you're kind of like half in, half out, aren't you? Right, let's get you turned around. Come on! Oh, get, get, can I just get past your tail? So we'll be leaving Arthur here. I'll take her back to base. Uh, let's see, you've got quite a lot of stone and metal. Right. Well, I'm just going to put all this lot away, uh, and then we'll just head back to base. So, see you shortly. Well, we've managed to get our Ankylo back to base now in one piece. So, me and Big Budgie, we're just going to have to head back again. Uh, I really need a lot of metal because I need a lot of ammo. So, we're going to head back over there and spend a bit of time with Arthur. Uh, mine all the metal resources uh, whilst trying to avoid that big massive titanosaur that's in the way obviously because the last thing I want is that thing trashing the entire base now after I've just built the blooming thing but um, yeah I mean I, I do think it's worth uh, sort of like imprinting one of those angelos uh, you certainly get a lot of you know a lot better base stats and um, the good thing is every time you level them you'll be getting more more out of each level as well so it should save you a bit of time, so it's worth well, you know, in the end anyway. But anyway, that's all for this video. I do hope you've enjoyed watching it. If so, then do please leave a like, because uh, that will help me out a great deal. Uh, if you're new to the channel and you want to see more content, then yeah, do subscribe. But just remember to click the little bell icon, because that way you get notifications when your content comes out. Uh, if you've got any comments, any suggestions, want to leave any feedback at all, please post that in the comment section below. But until the next video... Thanks very much for watching. Bye.